Ted, it's been a very eventful off season. Are you happy with what what took place as far as on the coaching staff and also with regarding bringing in new players? Yeah, and, and I am. I am. In short, I am very happy. We want to win now. I say that every year. If you don't have that mindset that you can win the Super Bowl every year, you're not trying hard enough. Some of the player moves we made this year, and in particular Julius Peppers coming on board, has already shown himself to be a leader on our team. What was the feeling as far as going out and getting a player of his caliber and paying the money that you ended up, wound up paying for? Well, you know, it's really two years in a row. Jay Cutler, the trade the year before, Julius Peppers on the defensive side this year. It really was an exciting time. I think the whole strategy of going after him made sense. Uh, you know, obviously we had to let go of a couple of, of players that had meant a lot to us over the years, including like Alex Brown. And, uh, but to bring in a player of that caliber, we're looking for him to raise the level of play of everyone else, not just on the defensive line. A lot of people also viewed the move as, as making a statement, not only perhaps to the fans, but also to your players. How do you view that as far as making a bold move like that? You know what, the statement from my perspective is we want to win and we want to win now and he's going to help us do that. Bringing back Brian Erlacher in conjunction with Peppers, we're in effect adding two pro ball, perennial pro ball players to our defense that we didn't have last year. Also bringing in Mike March to run the offense and also the other three coaches you have on your staff who were head coaches. Talk about that dynamic, how, that, how that's going to work out for you know, Lovey I, and the Bears. I give Lovey a lot of credit. A lot of head coaches wouldn't do that, but he's confident. Lovey has, has stayed consistent through all the years he's been head coach. To bring in a Mike Tice on the offensive line, you, you immediately see his passion for wanting to uh, uh, mold young players. He immediately looked at our offensive line and said, here's where these players need to be. They were out of position last year, in his opinion. So we feel good about that. The offensive line wasn't a strong point last year, but this year we think it's going to be. With Mike Martz totally revamping the offense, it's going to take some time. Good news is we had 99% attendance in our off-season workouts, and the guys are really focused at learning that offense. And with Rod Marinelli, you know, last year he came aboard. Um, I think this year I sense he's much more comfortable. He's now in charge of the defense. He's worked with Lovey. Uh, and is a great teacher and a great motivator. And that's going to, I think, not only work on the defensive line, which is his expertise, but it's going to uh, permeate through the entire defense. And those guys have great, there's great chemistry. It's a lot, they work well together, tough business, have a lot of fun together too.